In this video, we are going to understand a bit more in detail about the concept of quadrants. Now, we have seen that whenever we draw an x-axis and we draw a y-axis, this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. These two lines divide the entire plane into four quarters. Quadrant 1, and this is always written as in the anti-clockwise direction in four quadrants. These are basically called your quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Now we know that if suppose we have to locate a point P, there could be two values which this point might have. Let's say it has 5, 6. Right? So on a point P would have normally two values. Okay? Now, these two values are also known by distinct name. The distinct name given to these two points is abscissa and the ordinate. Now, abscissa is basically nothing but the distance of the point y along x axis. So basically, if suppose I had a point P here, it's the distance of P from y which is equal to the distance on the x axis is called the abscissa. Right? Similarly, ordinate is the distance of the y axis when a perpendicular is drawn on the x axis. So, this is what? This is basically this number which is equivalent to the y axis here. When a perpendicular is drawn from the to the x axis. So, if suppose you are told you have to find a point, say, 6. 3. So you take the x-axis, you take where the point number 6 is, let's say suppose 6 is here, and you locate this y value on the y-axis, you draw a perpendicular which is 6 units parallel to the x-axis and a 2 inch here, so point P will be here. Now, the other important point to notice that many a times these values which will be given to you might be negative. So then the idea is to see where would it fall. Any point which falls in the first quadrant will always have a positive, positive value. Why? Because here the x-axis is positive, the y-axis is positive. <coughs> Anything which falls in the second quadrant will have a minus positive plus value. Let me not write it this as minus will have a minus and plus value. Why? Again, because the x is negative. Now here both of them are negative. So the value will be minus minus. And here because x is positive, so you have plus minus. So if you remember these four rules, that will help you to kind of Remember as to where a particular point should fall in. Even if you don't remember it, it's not a problem. You just need to see what the value of a point is. So if you have to locate 5 and 6, you see where plus 5 is. You see where, minus, uh, where 6 is. And then you draw these perpendiculars here and here. And you will get your point. So that's more about the concept of quadrants, abscissa, ordinate, and locating a point on a plane.